Molly May, will you come out to play? Your smile takes the edge off of the day. And you're a light that bright. This is Molly May, a bad pause pod and other nice stuff with me, Molly May. Yeah, it's Molly May. I'm sitting here with Emily Eaton. And we just wrapped up uh, an amazing discussion on being a big girl and loving swimsuits. Um, and there are some, some, some burning questions I've always wanted to ask you as a sweet, sweet friend of mine. So I have prepared five rapid fire questions. And I asked you to do the same. Did you do it? Yes, I did. I love assigning my friends homework. (laughs) So scared. I had homework, you all. (laughs) I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna pee my pants. Yeah. I'm just like excited but scared. They're even they're not even that bad. Okay. First question for you is like very chat room two thousand two situation. ASL. American Sign Language. Oh my god, you're so cute. My bird. <laughs> I love you so much. Remember when you I were in a chat? You. Did you I was I love about you? to be a sign language interpreter. <laughs> you can't. I don't know what you're talking. Okay, Carrie, tell me. Okay, A, which <laughs> here's how people will type it. I can't believe I'm explaining this to you right now. A backslash, which we call a whack. A whack S whack L, which means age, sex, location. In a chat room with strangers. The You said all of that to a stranger? ASL. It's how you would start any conversation. You're so 32 good at the internet. female Minneapolis. <laughs> Your turn. Go. Rapid fire. What is your absolute biggest fear in life? Oh, my God. Like, makes you just, like, want to rip your belly out. Um, okay. (laughs) That I don't wipe good enough. And. (laughs) Sick. (laughs) And I smell like poop. (laughs) This is a, I can confirm, this is a real fear of Molly's. Every day. Do I smell? Well, I'm always so concerned about my breath, but like the poop thing is real. Yeah. Okay. Which is so silly. Okay. If you went to the bathroom right now and had one of those um, like TLC, didn't know I was pregnant, but here I am having a kid in the toilet situations, uh, what would you name the baby? Jesus. Oh, not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he is risen. Because <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> Sick. Okay. I mean, I we know I would probably name my baby Rudy. I love a Rudy. Male or female. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. That's, I didn't like that question. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, what is the most physical pain you've inflicted on someone on purpose? Ooh. ooh. Um, <laughs> there was this girl growing up that I was not very nice to. Mm-hmm. And I would stand on the top of her feet and push her over. Oh, my gosh. So she would guarantee fall over every time. Um, when we got to high school, I am proud to say that I turned that attitude around. I mean, the attitude switching happened a lot <laughs> sooner than before I got to high school. Okay. 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 But then mm-hmm. I became like, you guys can't come near, like. You like, can't sit by us? No. Like, don't make fun of this human. Oh, you protected her. Yeah. After I won't be so bold as to say I protected her, but I was like, hey, don't be a dick okay because i learned the hard way not to be a dick yeah not nice (laughs) these questions are like "Mm -mm." (laughs) this is not bubble gum carry on 
uh wow you're like really getting me and here I am like what does your dream bathroom look like (laughs) (laughs) you asked me if I had a baby in a toilet that's not nice no hypothetically when what would you name it well it was a graphic (laughs) delivery (laughs) you know almost prom babies um wow what does your dream bathroom look like (laughs) That's literally your question. Yeah. Bubble gum. Well, just to have my own bathroom and have a lot of counter space and good lighting and good storage and clean. But like I, my biggest fear, well, I have a lot of fears about like partnering up with someone in life and like having to share a space is that I absolutely cannot share a bathroom with another person. So it's going to be a custom house and I need to work more. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen. <laughs> Do you think she and this is not a question. I mean, it is actually a question. They but have their own bathrooms. You think so? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. See that I definitely need my own bathroom. I'd love a house tour. Me too. Let's DM her. Okay. Hit me. Um, when was the most embarrassing time you farted in public? <laughs> no, I gotta think about it. I mean, have you ever like ripped one? God, in that's class? so specific. I can <laughs> I can tell a time that someone else farted out loud because of me. That was incredibly embarrassing for them. That was the first thing that came to mind when you said that. Tell the story. I was a. Uh, you made someone laugh. Dating this guy in high school, and we were snuggling on the couch. And like I went to get food, and then began, I want to get food. <laughs> and then I came and I jumped on the couch and jumped on him. <laughs> he just <laughs> expelled the dirty wind. <laughs> he was so embarrassed because, like you know, we were teenagers, and yeah, it was just like that was mortifying. Gaseous green cloud arose. I mean, mm-hmm. but I farted in public too. I'm sure. Yeah, I've smelled it in public. But I'm good at, like, owning that kind of thing. I Mm -hmm. I probably, like, pushed it out and embarrassed other people. I'm not that woman anymore. I've changed. Yeah. I've changed. Uh, Okay, my last question for you. And this is um, a question. That's only four questions. Oh, I have to ask one now. You just asked me one. Oh, two more questions. Oh, wow. Carry on. Anyway, maybe I only made up four. <laughs> I uh, always cheated in math. <laughs> I was an art student. Um, so this was a question that I would ask in high school choir. We would have seniors come up at the beginning of class. Like mm-hmm. each senior student like had their week. And students got to ask them any question. And I always asked this one and uh, everyone hated me for it. But I really think that you can tell a lot from a person by how they answer this question. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you crinkle or fold your toilet paper before you wipe? I fold. You're so type A. I know. <laughs> you take the time to fold your toilet paper before you If wipe. you crinkle, where is it all? You're going to get some things, some derbies in the air. Well, I think that this, I, I crinkle. Maybe I should fold because this is my fear that I have. Yeah, exactly. That I don't wipe take enough. Take the time for yourself to fold your toilet paper. Like you actually fold it. Yes. You get a nice little pad, covers your hand, and you take care of it. Wow. I take, like, fistfuls, like a... a and you'll be amazed of how much toilet paper you save. This is a good challenge. You do it properly. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, there you go. Do parents teach their kids how to wipe butts? Yes. I mean, like, they teach them how to wipe their butts, but do they teach that part of it? Yes. Civilized people fold their toilet paper. Yeah. It's very caveman to just grab something and like Wow, is this not something even that think I missed about it? Is this something I missed out on? Must have been like growing up on the farm thing for you. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, I have a theory. 
about yeah. this. I think that your life's about to change after today. I think it might. I, wow. It Yeah. I would and like, you're going to use a lot less toilet paper, too. I would like to do a poll. Okay. It is my theory that the youngest child in the family probably crinkles their toilet paper. Okay. Well, I'm the youngest in my family. <laughs> <laughs> You're so type A. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Civilized people fold their toilet paper. Gotta hit me with another question, please. It's now like, I'm in literally we don't l- live in the woods and use leaves to wipe our body. Anyways, my I'm just gonna go my last question. Is it about to poop and toilet paper? No, and but smells. it's about your dad again. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dad. Okay. It's a little. You might have to follow me here. Okay. If your dad and your dog... Oh, my God. ...had a freaky Friday moment... <laughs> ...where your dad's conscious went into the body of your dog... ...and your dog's conscious went into the body of your father... Mm-hmm. ...who would you pet? <laughs> Oh my god i can absolutely (laughs) answer this okay oh my god no this is so weird (laughs) it's so freaky because my gut is like well i know what rosie likes like the Lindsay lohan in this situation to the jamie lee curtis oh such a good movie right um I immediately saw me face to face with (laughs) the body of my father like (laughs) rubbing behind his ears (laughs) Because that's what Rosie would love. Yeah. Because I'm not going to rub my dad, but then in turn. (laughs) It's a very heavy question. What's your final answer? Well, you know what? When I was a dental, a pre-dental hygiene major, (laughs) it's pivotal. Um, My dad would let me practice flossing teeth in on him i would floss my dad's teeth i would have no problem rubbing my dad's ears but rosie would be in his body and enjoying it so your dad wouldn't even know i'm going to iowa this weekend i'm just gonna rub my dad's ears for fun please go live I can do it all. I can handle any Freaky Friday situation. She's a modern woman. (laughs) She can do anything she wants. She can rub her dad's ears. Okay. She might crinkle her toilet paper, but she can rub an ear. But you're changing after tonight. Mm -hmm. Don't change me. I'm going to keep helping you. Who will I be if I fold my... You're going to be a woman that doesn't constantly fear that you smell like (laughs) your own feces. I'm, it's not like a fear that I'll smell like poop, but like, I had a friend that smelled like poop, okay? And it... You literally said your biggest fear was smelling like poop. Because I had a friend that smelled like poop. And... <laughs> I don't have another question, but you have another one. No. Oh, that's it? That was a good one to end on. I love you so much. There's always more where this came from. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs> and if you got this far in the pod, I'm impressed as fuck and really grateful to have you listening Uh, if you want to know more information about me or the show check out the show page on matriarchdm.com where we host all of the what i can't take off our progressive spotify playlist from the songs of the week and uh obviously the reminder of who to follow for the week all in a nice little fucking matriarch digital media bow theme song is molly may by ben karen i'll never get over saying that it's so good right Uh, Thanks for listening. You're so cute.